In this week's episode, we are tackling a very serious topic, mental health in the cybersecurity space. Now, it's a little bit of a, um, you know, uh, kind of an unspoken topic, and it's gotten better over the last couple of years, but alert fatigue, um, burnout, uh, mental health, just, you know, it's, it's tough because you're always defending, right? So in this week's episode, we are talking with Jay Davey, who's a SOC analyst, uh, about mental health, about alert fatigue, what it is, what you can do about it to battle it, uh, and make sure that, you know, you don't suffer, right? So cybersecurity, um, it's a wonderful field, but there are some landmines that you want to make sure to avoid, and that's what we're tackling today. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further faster. Today's episode is a real serious topic, but we're gonna have some great conversation and a good time. We're talking about mental health in the cybersecurity space. Now, cybersecurity is a little bit different than other fields because really you're constantly defending and making sure that systems are up and available. And you know, the attacks are constant. Uh, external networks are always being scanned. Misconfigurations happen. You gotta be catching them. When there are active incidents on the network, it becomes a, a bit of a um, high anxiety, high, high energy, you know, anxiety, adrenaline dumping. It, it's it's a lot, and if you're, you know, it's exciting at first, but as it begins to beat down on you, or you're getting overwhelmed, or management's coming down on you, um, it, it can be it can be quite a bit, right? So there's a lot of people in our industry that battle. Uh, burnout and mental health. And I'll, I'll be, you know, the first to admit that I myself have suffered from these um, afflictions and, and battled through them, you know, to, honestly. So uh, I just want you to be aware because this is a super serious topic and one that you really need to know about. So I just did a live stream with Jay Davey. Go ahead and check it out if you want. We were talking all about the, his SOC master plan and what SOCs are and what the new age of SOCs are and a whole bunch of tips on how people can get into SOCs and resumes. We took Q&A from the audience and there was a lot around uh, how can I improve myself? How can I get that SOC job? So if that's interesting to you, check out that video. But there was a segment in it where we really went deep on, we started with alert fatigue, but then went into mental health and the people from the audience were offering up ideas. Jay gave some fantastic ideas. Um, so I wanted to carve that off and really serve it up to you as a focused topic. Now, before we get into the interview itself, I do want to point out that on Simply Cyber, we talk to experts like Jay about socks and alert fatigue, and we also do a whole ton of other stuff like labs, industry news, um, you know, blue team, red team, offense, defense, the work. So if this topic is interesting to you and this type of content, check out the other videos on the channel. We put new channel uh, videos out every Monday at noon and we've got the Discord server so you can engage with the community. A link with an invite is in the show description. So come join us, come talk to me. I'm always on there, uh, you know, engaging with people and having a good time. So if you wanna to jump to a specific part of this video, uh, look in the uh, minute markers below. Uh, I do that so you can just jump to what you want, but I hope you, uh, especially on this topic, I hope you just listen and, and absorb all of the content. So let's get into the talk. Let's see what Jay's gotta say about alert fatigue and mental health in general, and let's do it. Go. Any sock anywhere in the world, and that is alert fatigue and just, just getting beat up and for those of you who are watching the, the stream and aren't familiar with that, it's just, you know, ticket, 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 ticket. And you're just trying to, to triage and move, triage and move. And it seems uh, overwhelming and, and uh, relentless. And it, it, it can take a toll on you. And it's called alert fatigue. So, so Jay, you know, obviously you've worked in the trenches. What, what are your thoughts around alert fatigue and maybe how to best battle it both at a personal level and as a SOC? So it is a very real problem, and I, I fell victim to it before. Um, and it's 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 deadly. It's one of these things that it creeps up on you, and you think you're doing fine. You think you're, you know, you think you're just plugging away, and then you wake up the next morning, and you've just got no energy. You've just got no motivation, and it's just constant, constant. constant. I just say that if you do get your breaks, make sure you take your breaks. When you do, when you have a set time to finish finish so don't try and do your overtime 
because you need to um, think about your personal health. So remove yourself from the environment, remove yourself from technology, go out for a walk, go to the gym, you know, do your exercise, do something else, do something you enjoy, take your mind off the job. Um, you need to be able to remove yourself from that. Um, organizations, they need to have this kind of um, holistic kind of view on mental health. And that it is a real issue, um, especially when it comes to high pressure jobs uh, like such as security, not just in SOC, but in security as a whole. They need to be able to support people mentally. So they need to just they need to have a program where they can say, OK, you know, if you do need a break, you can go take 10, 15 minutes out, you know, go outside and go for a walk. No questions asked. Just something like that. It, it, it's one of these things. It, it, we need to be grown up about it as well. We need to be able to manage ourselves as a person. So I know one of the problems that I have is that I, I'm I'm a devil for it. I Sometimes I get stuck into an alert. I'm pulling it apart. I'm looking at the processes. You know, 45 minutes, an hour has gone. And I was meant to finish about 10 minutes ago. And I'm still going. Um, I myself have been in that position. You just need to take yourself out of that position. Um, and it's about managing yourself. And, and if you do have a problem, talk to your boss as well. Because nine times out of ten, your boss probably doesn't even know it's happening. You know, he's probably not, he just probably doesn't know how you feel. So just talk to someone as well, even if it's just someone in your network. Yeah, I, I feel um, strongly that, at least in the United States, mental health um, has a stigma associated with it. Um, like there's a, you know, there's a problem. Like, so you're reluctant to disclose that to anyone because it, it identifies some type of vulnerability in you. Um, and that's going, I feel like that's going away, uh, in the last maybe four or five years, it's becoming more socially acceptable, more understandable. Uh, so I, I agree wholeheartedly if anyone out there is suffering alert fatigue or, or, you know, in the future when they are a SOC analyst experience in it, take Jay's advice and do that. We've got some other people who are clearly SOC professionals in here talking about, you know, rotate duties among your team, just one option that's easy to do. Um, you know, poor, poor Michelle, alert fatigue, her life for the last year in her current gig. Hopefully she's getting some, uh, some good talk to someone. Yeah. Yeah. Get some yeah. good suggestions here. Ryan, Ryan sharing with us, relax, reflect, reassess, then roll. So yeah, he, he has to be military. He, he's got, to, uh, that has to be, a, that's, that's gotta be a veteran surely. But possibly Ryan, let us know. Uh, Michelle's chiming in. Yeah, uh, follow up to her about her last year here. It's legit killing my will to train on security outside of work, which keeps my sane headspace. It's vicious cycle for reals. Yeah, Michelle, don't, don't, don't suffer. Please talk, talk to someone. Take my, a break. My inbox is always open. If if you need a virtual coffee, you need a chat. My inbox is always open. Yeah, yeah, and we, like I mentioned before, on that unofficial uh, Range Force Discord server, you know, there's a great community on there. The link is in the show description if you're not already part of that community. And a lot of, lot of, um, you know, it's a lot of security talk, but there's also uh, personal, you know, communi uh, conversations and stuff like that. R Ryan asked here, um, you know, Jay, do you have any tricks for switching off? That's a great question. Oh, so. For me, it's one of these things. Um, get a watch. Get yourself a watch. And not just a clock on your screen, but an actual physical watch and time watch. And I know it sounds silly, but just watch your clock and just say, you know what, I finish in the next 45 minutes. I'm going to be off then. Um, it's it's a discipline kind of thing. It's, it, it's one of these things where you need to set up these alerts what I like to do is, and this is a good trick someone taught me, is block out time in your calendar. Um, so when it comes to the end of your day, block it out. So no one can put meetings in that day at, at that time. No one can expect you to be there. Um, as well, talk to your boss as well. Um, I, I find this is quite a really, it's quite a good tactic. It's just to let people know the kind of stuff that's going on, what's going, what's going on with yourself. Because they're, they, they are people managers. They need to manage you as well. Um, and they need to make sure that you are sane and healthy. Um, but most of it is discipline. And a lot of it is just how you control yourself. Um, the best thing to do is get a hobby. And, you know, put your heart and soul into that hobby. As soon as you finish work, go do that hobby. Go for a walk. Go to the gym. Whatever it may be. I like to go. 
like before COVID, I, I love boxing. Um, and one of my thing, one of my things was, was like, as soon as I finished work, I would just couldn't wait to get the gloves on, release the stress for the day. And it was just, that really helped me cope. Um, and that's why I can't wait for boxing to be back because uh, I need it <laughs> bad. <laughs> so heavy topic, great information. If you yourself are suffering uh, from burnout or alert fatigue or mental health issues uh, and your cybersecurity, and you, 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 like Jay said, talk to someone, come on the Discord server, engage with the community. We're, you know, we're all here, we're all one. We don't want anyone to suffer in silence. It's not, there's no reason for it, okay? We're here for you. So, uh, pretty heavy topic. We got, uh, you know, the YouTube thing today. It's just Kevin Mitnick, OG of cybersecurity. If you don't know who Kevin Mitnick is, uh, Google him. He was, you know, kind of one of the original uh, hacker freakers from the uh, 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Um, so, you know, what's up? Props to Kevin. Um, this week, I do not have a one cool thing. So we're just going to skip that. Oh, the, you know what? My one cool thing this week is the Discord server, the unofficial Range Force Discord server. The admin there, Stefan, uh, uh, has given me a channel uh, section under the um, under the, uh, the, 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 the the Discord server, right? So that's where you can come and engage with us and have a great topic. Uh, we'll be doing giveaways coming up soon. I've got some Range Force videos. We got a live stream coming up uh, where we're going to be giving away fifteen hundred dollars worth of value in. Uh, like platinum membership to the Range Force server so you can get all the modules, all the education. I'll have a future video on that, uh, plus the live stream with their vice president of product and technical services on February 4th. So be sure to check that out. All right, everybody. Uh, love the channel. Love doing this. Love all of you. Uh, thanks. And until next time, stay secure.